Glory to God. Today we want to uh, give you that which we have received in our heart by the Spirit. Uh, but before we go into it, we salute you in the, Lord, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. And, in the, in, uh, and on behalf of all the watchmen around the world, we want to tell each one of you, in each one of the watchmen, want to say that the Lord is seeing your sacrifice, all that you are doing to extend the intercession of Christ on the earth. Right now, interceding from the right hand of God the Father, but by the Spirit of God who is helping us, the intercession of Jesus Christ for the nations, for souls, is being extended through the watchmen and today through the mountain of prayer 24-7 for the nations. How the thing started and where are we today? Uh, when the Lord came to give us the vision, the Lord clearly mentioned that we should uh, build a network of intercession, intercession for the nations, an international network. So we were not understanding clearly how we should proceed. But in obedience, we start running from nation to nation. So we went to about 30 nations, even more, where we had launching uh, every year to share the vision and try to raise watchmen. We had also conventions in every year in Washington, D.C. We had convocation, prayer convocation of the nations in Israel every year. So we're very active, but we're not succeeding in putting in place the international network of prayer for the nations, for the souls. Until last year after the convention, the Lord indicated clearly that we should not uh, have uh, uh, plan the convention of the prayer prayer convention this year 2020 so 2019 we made up our mind because the Lord said we should not plan the convention to not give uh, an invitation to those watchmen who wanted to prepare themselves to come to Washington DC so in the turning of the year, in January, the Lord keep on pressing into us that we should uh, uh, start uh, the, the chain of prayer. Uh, we understood better what he wanted us to do. So we started, very few of us, but by the grace of God, uh, quickly nations start joining and were able to cover the 24-7 uh, by the grace of God. And uh, more than 60 nations have joined the, the mountain of prayer. And they prayed, each nation praying only 30 minutes a day for that nation and for the other nation, for the revelation of Jesus Christ, salvation of souls, and destroying the network of evil altars and consecrating the nations back to the Lord Jesus Christ. Because nations have been already consecrated to the devil by his servants. Now the Lord intends to have his own servant to consecrate the nations to him by establishing the altars of prayer for his kingdom to come, for his revelation, for souls to be saved. So this is what we are doing and this is why we are we are here at the mountain of prayer so some nations uh, are joining continually but we still have many of them we have not yet joined because we have about more than 200 nations in the world and all these nations should be coming before the throne as it is in the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter 5, 
verse 9, because it's written out of all nations, yeah, we, uh, all race, races, all tongues, we are coming together to worship the Lamb of God and to thank Him to express our gratitude for having shed His blood for us, saving us and making us His priests and His kings into His Father, our God, and our Father also. So this is what is happening now at the mountain of prayer. This is uh, what the Holy Ghost is doing, inspiring the prayers to be according to the heart of the Father. For the Lord has shown us the vision of a mountain while we're in the closet praying, not sleeping. A mountain appeared, and that mountain was in color of uh, uh, brown, chocolate. But we could see inside of the mountain a smaller mountain that was red. And that smaller mountain was breathing, breathing. So we asked the Spirit, what is this? And the Holy Ghost said, this is the heart of the Father. And then the Holy Ghost made us understand that therefore the, the, the bigger the, the, the mountain itself should be the expression of the heart of the Father. That's why we gather regularly every Saturday morning to share in the Word of God what is the heart of the Father and how we should be praying the heart of the Father at the mountain of prayer for the nations and for, for souls. That's why we are inviting you. As we are approaching to the end, we still have more than six billion souls who are looking for salvation, who are still lost. But the Bible said the people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. And to them that sat on the valley of the shadow of death, to them the light has shone. So we believe strongly that the Spirit of God will use these prayers to cause the revelation, the light of Christ to shine to these billions of souls. So therefore we are praying with that vision in our heart to see souls coming to Christ and to stand before the throne one day to honor Him and glorify Him. And we start having testimonies of what the Spirit of God is doing in the nations. We even heard that in Madagascar where they used to have a yearly uh, celebration of the dead because every year there is a day they, take, they will take back the bones of parents, diseased parents, to prepare a celebration, a feast, to cook and drink and dance for the dead. But this year, because of the COVID, the government has taken the decision that there wouldn't be that feast this year. And we believe this is the impact, one of the impact of the prayers of the body of Christ around the world, including our prayer also. So we are encouraged to continue to pray. We know that the spirit of death has been affected, but we need to destroy his roots, which are the altars, the altars of death, the throne of the spirit of death, the covenant of death, the sacrifices of death. We need to continue to destroy these things in prayer to deliver souls who are bound in captivity to the devil. So we are inviting you to come to the mountain of prayer. This is a great, great privilege given by the Spirit of God, by the, our Father to us, to do things and please His heart. We have come to know that this is the heart of God, as the Spirit said. Therefore, we consecrate ourselves at the mountain of prayer. 
And we pray that the fire will continue, the presence of God, the angels ascending and descending, the glory of God continue to manifest in the nations, that God will continue to pour out His Spirit in the nations as we continue to stand together at the mountain interceding for the revelation of Jesus. May the Spirit of God descend in the nations, for it is the Spirit of God that brings conviction of sin, and it is the Spirit of God that can bring revelation of Jesus Christ. So we thank God for giving us such a great opportunity at these last days, in these last days, we lay hold on this great opportunity with all our heart so that the, the eternal destiny of souls can come to be manifested according to the counsel of God, according to the plans of God, and giving us the, author, uh, uh, the opportunity to be part of it. We are grateful to God and we will continue to sacrifice our, ourselves, to consecrate ourselves to it. In Jesus' name, you are welcome. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you as you stand faithfully as a living sacrifice at this altar of prayer for all nations. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. From Dr. Musa Touré, from uh, Dr. Esther Touré, and from all the watchmen around the world.